live. We're here. All right. We're here. Welcome to another <laughs> live edition of Live Feed Reads. I'm Paul Reed, your I'm host. Jason Crawford. With my, the Ed McMahon of my uh, Jason Crawford. Uh, all right. So, uh, first off, I want to give a shout out to uh, the McDonald's house. We, uh, Jackie and Ryan and I, it's kind of why I'm in my casual sitting at my house. We did a, a charity event for them this morning up in Pasco County. Nice. At the Tampa, Tampa Clay uh, shooting range. Uh, whatever it was, Tampa sports and clays, but it was very cool shooting some guns. Uh, very cool. Uh, I don't, I don't think we came in first place, but we had a good time and it was for a good cause. Uh, so that was cool. So, you know, good. just supporting the, supporting the neighborhood. Uh, a couple of things I so I didn't, honestly, I didn't prepare a whole lot. Uh, but what I want to talk about a few things that are kind of in the uh, news today and the last couple of days is, uh, for better, for worse, for richer, for poor sickness and health. The uh, Florida legislature, in their infinite wisdom, decided to ba- pass a 15-week ban uh, on, on the abortion issue, meaning yeah. you can get an abortion from zero to 15 weeks. And after that, uh, evidently, you probably have to travel to another state if you want to do that, uh, whether yes, that's okay. right, wrong, or otherwise. Uh, just, uh, just it's in the news. Know that that's, uh, that's yeah. going to be signed into law, evidently. Uh, the so, next thing is... Uh, Go so ahead. I have a question. Uh, that hit the House, right, in Florida. Again? I said that went into the House in Florida, right? Could be. What's the What's the process after that? Like it has to well, go it, it, Florida the Senate, House, House Senate, and then the uh, and then the governor. But uh, the only change I think, if they're going to make one at all, would be if there's an exception for, say, you know, uh, rape, incest, or the life of the mother. Those are usually the three sticking points or issues right. that that are dealt with when it comes to states that are limiting a woman's right to, to an abortion well, they're so very important that, issues yeah so oh well, they are and so uh i was asking those, more about the process like uh, so it starts with the house and then no, goes... some, some can start some bills can start in the senate oh, okay and then and go to the house and then, then they go back and forth trying to find uh, one that they both can agree on and, and that the governor will sign so it just depends uh, which who started what and where, but they gotcha. they can start in, in either one. Look, Bailey, say hello. Hey, hey, <laughs> Bailey. <laughs> All right. So That's the awesome. next one, interestingly enough, remember in 2013 where uh, the, the Boston Marathon, the two brothers blew up the pressure cookers and caused significant yeah. damage and loss of life. The one brother uh, was killed, I believe, and then the other one got the death penalty. Of course, in all death penalty cases, uh, there's an appeal. So the the, 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 the the younger brother that lived, he appeals and evidently was able to convince the Circuit Court of Appeal up in the Boston, Massachusetts area, because that's where this happened. Uh, well, I guess it wouldn't be the Circuit Court. It would be the uh, the appellate court in federal. In federal. So there's the, the trial court, the appellate court, and the Supreme Court. Well, they said that there were some issues by the judge. Uh, that may have affected the jury's uh, deliberations and ultimate oh, no. verdict. Well, the Supreme Court, being if it's the six to three majority of the Supreme Court says, ah, we don't think so. Reinstate the death penalty. Nice try. So that's okay. the difference. That's the difference in a six to three conservative Supreme Court when it comes to the death penalty and <laughs> five four or otherwise. Uh, they Splits. just are. Yeah. Uh, you killed wow. a lot of people, and uh, thanks for coming. Let's see. Wow. What else? Oh, here's something. So St. Patrick's Day is coming up in a week or two. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I think a lot of people, including the city of Tampa, is celebrating it on Saturday uh, the 12th. Okay. And so uh, they're going to, once again, color that uh, section of the Hillsborough River down by the convention center and up you know, through uh, Eulalies and stuff. They're going to color it green. Which is very cool. If you haven't seen it, it actually is pretty cool. So if you have kids, family, want to get out and okay. check out Saturday, if it's a good day, that's something to do. I believe the the, the night parade through Ebor City uh, is also on that Saturday. Uh, I will be on a float, the MOR float, so that's going to be cool. Oh, Come nice. Out More TV. Out, yeah. Out, out, beads at you and whack you. Hey, send me some pictures from that. I'll get them on social media. Oh, he froze. I froze. Oh, I froze. Well, I'm still though. I'm good. Well, you're moving. Right, I can see. Good. 
All right. Well, either way, the Curtis Thieves trial ended after three weeks of testimony, and they found him not guilty. In Who's Mexico. that? He is the 70-year-old, now 79-year-old man that shot a guy in the movie theater that we had talked about. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it finally went to trial. That was up in, uh, was Denota Sessa? No, that was up in Wesley Chapel. Wesley Castle. Chapel. Okay. So right, right on the cusp of Hillsboro. Uh, okay. Uh, remember the issue was he, the uh, the younger guy, 40-year-old, give or take, was on his cell phone during the preview. Yeah. Curtis Reed and got, got into it. a fight. They got into a, uh, yeah, a, a confrontation. Yeah, a confrontation. Curtis got him. And so the question was, it self-defense or was it some form of murder? And they found that evidently it was self-defense. I'll tell you, uh, you know, with, nowadays, you're best to walk away. You know, you what's the, st- what's the statement? You may be dead right. <laughs> and so, uh, and now, you know, right. Ryan showed some oh, videos. Yeah, yeah. Craziness going up out there from neighbors uh to strangers to Man, acquaintances. so you're not you're not joking i had uh the other day i was up here i just went to get a bag of ice at the convenience store right up here off of lamona and victoria and okay. there is a a drunk driver and she literally you know the train tracks that are right there she literally like was like ramping over the train tracks in the other lane and like head-on collided with this young boy and this the sound was crazy she got out and was just all over the place, like delirious, and like the police officers and the the paramedics that were trying to help her. She like got up and was trying to walk away from them and stumbling. And then when they had her sit down, she was like, "No, I'm gonna lay down." So she lays down, and then she starts to roll. She tries to roll away, and I'm like, "I'm sure your rolling speed is is not, is not quite <laughs> sufficient enough." But I was, you know, I, the whole time I was like, "Dude, I hope you guys have your body cams on because this is nuts. Like this crazy." Is, this lady's crazy. Yeah, she's gonna roll on out of here. No, it's sad. In fact, uh, <laughs> yeah. You no, know, I, I have a case with a Pinellas a PSTA, a bus driver, where uh, dude, he was he blew a point one four at, at, ten, at ten in the morning. Wow. Yeah. And wow. so that's uh, that's insane. You're driving a bus and it's ten a.m. and you're twice the legal limit. I think wow. point, uh, you know, 08, so. To, 0.16, so he's literally almost twice the legal almost limit driving it. a bus in Pinellas County. So just, Good you know, uh, be careful. Uh, I'm tired. Yes. We had to get up early for this uh, tournament. It was fun. My damn okay. shoulder hurts from shooting my new 12 gauge, which I got, oh. which is very cool. Um, <laughs> right on. I guess uh, maybe say a short. prayer. Say, yeah, well, say a prayer for Ukraine. Uh, it, it seems to be a very uh, rough situation over there, of course. Yeah. Um, you know, the Russians are just being Russian. So, you know, it's I don't know. I guess yeah. uh, if, it, if, it, if it tells you nothing, because, you know, I, I saw that uh, they, they had to pass out guns uh, to the common folk who were not even soldiers to defend their their homeland. And so uh, I guess I recommend buying as many guns, as much am- ammunition as you can, because don't think it only happens on TV. That's right. Yeah. All right. Well, with that yeah, man. <clears throat> positive right. note, we're going to get out of here. It's a beautiful day. It's going to be yes. a beautiful weekend. Okay. Uh, love to everybody. Get your butt into church. Say thank you, Jesus, and we'll see you soon. All right. All right.